here are the answers to the quiz. Quiz number one. Uh, the first question is straightforward, direct. Frequency is the reciprocal of, oh, hold on. The time period. And so all you got to do is 1 by 6 times 10 to the negative 3 because it's in milliseconds. All right, that's why you got 10 to the negative 3 there. And the answer is 167 hertz. And that's a straightforward question. And the second one. String of linear density 1.5 gram per meter is under a tension of 20 newtons. What should its length be if its fundamental resonant frequency is 220 hertz? Okay, let's look at the terms that are given now. Linear density is the mass of 1 meter. Uh, it's in grams, so you got to change it into kilograms. The tension is 20 newtons. We know that velocity is given by Ft by mu, I mean Ft by m, square root of that. So that's the velocity of waves through a stretched string. That gives, when you take the square root, you get 115.4 meter per second. And frequency is, fundamental frequency is V by 2 times the length. And you know why that is, because the string vibrates in one segment and the whole length of the string is half a wavelength, that's why. Therefore, wavelength is two times the length, okay? That's why you have two times the length in place of wavelength. Now, rearrange that and you get the length of the string as 0 0.26 meter. Uh, remember that frequency is V by lambda and lambda is 2 times the length uh, because the whole thing is vibrating as one segment. And the reason is because uh, when the string vibrates in one segment like that, you understand that this is half the wavelength. So, length of the string is half the wavelength, therefore lambda is two times the length. Okay, and that brings us to the third question which talks about, uh, let's see, a 0 0.50 kilogram mass is attached to a spring of spring constant 20 Newton per meter. Along a horizontal frictionless surface, the object oscillates in a simple harmonic motion and has a speed of 1.5 meter per second at the equilibrium position. Now that's very important, you see. When the object passes through the equilibrium position, that's when the velocity is maximum. Okay, that's why that's important. So what's given is the maximum velocity. And uh, it says what location is the kinetic energy and the potential energy the same. Now first let me write down the equations for kinetic energy. It's one half K. Mm, actually it's A squared minus X squared. I'm sure I'm going to change that. Okay. A squared minus X squared. Potential energy is one half K X squared. And because it says that kinetic energy is equal to the potential energy which essentially means that you can set these two equations equal to each other because that's what the problem says it says the potential energy is exactly equal to the kinetic energy so you can set them equal to each other once you set them equal to each other the halves and the k's get cancelled and uh, you get 2x squared is equal to a squared. Okay, now I've changed it because it's actually a squared minus x squared. Okay, which had to be changed even here. Remember that, even this part, 
it had to be changed okay so that's when you get 2x squared is a squared x is a by root 2 but again we do not know the amplitude because if we know the amplitude now all you got to do is divide it by square root of 2 that's where we use the other information given that um, the maximum velocity is given by a omega and uh, Omega is square root of k by m. That is, so you get omega from there, and therefore putting it back into this equation, a is v max by omega. So you get 0.24 meter. That's a, that's the amplitude, therefore x is 0.24 by square root of 2, which gives you 0.17 meter. So there are um, three, at least three steps in doing this problem. The first one is that the potential and the kinetic energies are equal from which you get x is a by root 2. Second one is that you got to know that maximum velocity is a times omega and also that omega is square root of k by m. So you get omega from there, plug it back into this, get the amplitude, divide it by the square root, get the answer easier said than down. I know. Right. Brings us to the fourth question. Velocity of propagation of a transverse wave on a 2 meter long string fixed at both ends is 200 meter per second. Which one of the following is not a resonant frequency of the string? Not a resonant frequency of the string. We know that in a string, the resonant frequency or the fundamental frequency is V by 2 times the length. In this case, the velocity is 200 divided by the cos. The length of the string is what? 2 meters. Okay, so 2 times 2 and you get 50 hertz. That's the fundamental frequency. So, the frequencies that can be produced will be multiples of 50, which would be 50, 100, 200. All those are going to be resonant frequencies of the string. So you see that 25 is not one of those. So the answer is 25, because 25 is not a resonant frequency. The fifth one, a mass vibrates back and forth from the free end of an ideal spring spring constant 20 newtons per meter with an amplitude of 0 0.30 meter. What's the kinetic energy of this vibrating mass when it is 0 0.30 meter from its equilibrium position? Doesn't it say that the amplitude is 0 0.30 meter? Don't you know that uh, when the object is at the amplitude its velocity is zero? Yeah, when it's at the extreme position, amplitude, it stops moving. If its velocity is zero, if its velocity is zero, then the kinetic energy is also zero. That's it. Well, I'm trying to bring it out using this formula. You know that A is equal to X here. And surely from this equation, if you put x in place of x if you put a you're going to get zero either way number six a two kilogram mass is attached to the end of a horizontal spring spring constant 50 newton per meter set into simple harmonic motion with an amplitude of 0 0.10 meter what is the total mechanical energy so what's the formula for total mechanical energy it's one half k a squared that is total, which is the maximum potential energy or the maximum kinetic energy. All quantities given, just substitute K, substitute for amplitude, and you get the answer. 0.25 joules. Number seven. Uh, mass is just attached to a spring of spring constant 60 newtons per meter. Spring is stretched by a force of 5 Newton and it's let go. It takes the mass 0.50 seconds to go back to its equilibrium position. 
what is the amplitude all right so the force is 5 newtons and uh, k is 60 newton per meter but we know f is kx therefore x is f by k which is 5 by 60 point zero eight three meter is x and uh, of course the time period is two seconds that was not even asked in the question I was just I was just trying to show you that if it takes 0.5 seconds to go through one quarter of an oscillation definitely the period is going to be four times that which is two seconds but understand that the amplitude in this case is the maximum amount of stretching isn't it which is 0 0.083 meter clear eight Mass vibrates back and forth from the free end of an ideal spring, spring constant 20 newtons per meter with an amplitude of 0 0.250 meters. What's the maximum kinetic energy? Remember that uh, even in the last question I told you maximum kinetic energy is 1 half Ka squared, which is again the formula for maximum potential energy. All quantities given, K is 20. The amplitude is 0.25 so just plug those numbers in and you get 0 0.625 joules that's all 9 mass is attached to spring again spring constant 60 look it's the same problem as before but this time it's asking you what is the period of oscillation and we've already done this it's 4 times 0 0.50 because 0 0.5 seconds is the time taken for a quarter of the oscillation as you can see in the diagram okay it's one quarter of an oscillation when it goes from here to here this is one quarter of an oscillation again half three quarters and full that's why the answer is two seconds the tenth one now it's about a simple pendulum consists of 0.25 kilogram spherical mass attached to a massless string. Uh, the mass is displaced slightly from its equilibrium position released. Pendulum swings back and forth with a frequency 2 hertz. What frequency would have resulted if a 0 0.50 kilogram mass had been attached to the string? See, so you're changing the mass from 0.25 to 0 0.50 kilogram and you better know that the time period of a simple pendulum does not depend on the mass does not depend on the mass and if it does not depend on the mass then the frequency is going to be the same therefore the answer is 2 hertz you know it does not depend on the mass because the formula is 1 by 2 pi square root g by the length it's independent of the mass. There's no mass in this equation. Just remember that. Brings us to question 11. Object in simple harmonic motion obeys the uh, following equation. Y is equal to 0 0.50 sine pi by 2t. What's the maximum speed? Okay, from here you got to find the maximum speed. That is the equation that's given. Do you remember that uh, maximum speed is a omega from the last one? And when you compare it, you know that a is 0.5, omega is pi by 2, you see that? And v max is a omega. So just multiply the two. a and omega. And you get 0.79 meter per second. Wasn't that easy? Yes, it is. You just got to know that A is 0.5 and omega is pi by 2. The last question. For the day, a mass on a spring undergoes SHM. It goes through 10 complete oscillations in 5 seconds. What's the period? Mm, that's the easiest question. Period is the time taken for one oscillation. So if it takes 5 seconds, 
for 10 oscillations. It's going to take 5 divided by 10 for one oscillation. And 5 divided by 10 is 0.5 seconds. So that's the answer for the period. And I hope all these problems now make sense. Thank you and good luck.